Are you ready for a data-driven drive into the South Bay real estate market for Q1 of 2024? Well, buckle up because it's been a whirlwind. Oh, We've seen mortgage rates climb again, buyer's behavior is shifting, and everyone is kind of adjusting to the new normal market. Everything is normal. So whether you're a seasoned investor or you're a first time home buyer or anywhere in between, this will equip you with the insights and the numbers you need to make an informed decision. If you're into that kind of thing. Oh, no, no, I'm totally into it. Let's kick it off with the big elephant in the room, rising interest rates. It's no secret that rates have topped 7% recently and this has undeniably impacted the South Bay real estate market. Well, every real estate market. That's America's housing market. We're seeing a slight decrease in the overall listings across Hermosa Beach and Manhattan Beach compared to February, but Redondo Beach, new listings are up 47% from February. So there, here's a surprising twisto change-o. Close sales are up in all three beach cities. Hermosa Beach saw a slight increase in the closed sales. Manhattan Beach jumped up as well. And Redondo Beach closed 30 units, which is you know, down 1% from February's high, but it's still higher than last March. We'll see that number change next month because Redondo had way more pending sales in March than in February. How many more? Two. People are still buying, even with 7% plus interest rates, and parts of the market are still seeing multiple offers. And prices are going over list price, really. In my networking meeting this week, several agents were involved with multiple offers and counter offers last weekend. A few of them were bidding with four, five, six other buyers, and some just didn't get their deals accepted. You have to know what's happening right now in your market if you want to compete. And please, don't listen to your neighbor or Clark from accounting. Work with a pro. Me. Deal. Now, if you're a home seller, or soon to be one. Yes. Now pay close attention. With rising rates and potentially more homes hitting the market soon, thanks to the surge of new things coming in Redondo, we're praying for more listings. Days on market are kind of ticking up across the board. Not a lot, but they are. So Hermosa Beach and Manhattan Beach listings, they're spending an average of 49 days on the market, or DOM, uh, up 19% from last month. And Redondo Beach has seen the most dramatic shift with days on market skyrocketing. Wait, this is mainly because of DOM in January and February were much lower. So this is not an alarming number. That's not alarming so does this mean that bidding wars might be less frequent all thanks to those seven and a half percent rates not in some segments of the market right time will tell but your key takeaway is competitive pricing marketing prepping the house having it show perfectly every time and things like that are crucial to attract buyers in this new landscape you know all the normal things i do to get a home sold like some agents are just simply not doing even minimum effort to get you the price you want as a home seller. You deserve better. Me, of course. But this is where things get really interesting. Let's delve into the oh-so-fascinating world of price points. But first, if you're enjoying this, then just give me a little like, or if you want to subscribe, just so you want to keep informed on what's going on in the South Bay, just do that. That would be great. Hermosa Beach Asking prices are reaching an average of around $5 million. And Manhattan Beach's prices climbed to a cool 6.2. That's the average. But check this out. The average sold prices are showing some dips in these same areas. If you just look at the numbers, I know what you're thinking. How is that even possible? Here's how that's possible. Generalizing the market here in the South Bay, Los Angeles is difficult because we have such diversity in price points. For instance, currently the lowest price we're down to beach, $540,000. And the highest price is 12 million. That's quite a gap and can skew the numbers. In Hermosa Beach, the lowest is 695,000. Currently, and the highest one is 21 million. Yikes! A little different Manhattan Beach because it's the most expensive of the beach cities. The lowest is 1.14 million, and the highest is 30 million. So you can get these huge changes every month over month when something super high end sells or comes to the market. I hope now that you can see that these numbers drastically change so quickly, but the market is not doing that. Yet for all of them, very little to no activity on your house will lead to lower offers, which will cause you to net less in the end. So hey, <laughs> it's a new market every week, it seems. And understanding these markets, it's complicated because of the diversity of product available in such a wide price gap in a small area. 
But what's the big takeaway then? The South Bay market is definitely in motion. Rising rates are making buyers cautious, you know, but demand is still there. And sellers might need to adjust their strategies depending on where they're at. Yet for buyers and sellers, local market knowledge is key. But if you're interested in the 10 million and up luxury market, remember the presence of several high end listings can skew the average and median data, right? So for example, there are currently 11 properties listed for over $10 million in Manhattan Beach and five in Hermosa Beach. And today, their days on market are ranging from one week to over 440 days. That's a whole other story for another day, but it highlights the importance of looking beyond the average numbers. Got it? Speaking of that, don't be average. I don't, <laughs> because I'm above average. And don't hire average. We don't want no average.